Capsular contracture is a devastating complication of breast augmentation. There are several things that I do personally to try to limit capsular contracture, which is hardening around the breast implants. When I take a patient to the operating room, the first thing that I do to ensure avoidance of capsular contracture is to use sterile technique. The patient is prepped with a surgical prep. I also will prevent the nipples from being included in the surgical field by putting special um, sealing strips over the nipple areolar complexes so that no possible nipple drainage is in the field. The next thing that I do is I utilize the inframammary incision, which is in your breast fold. Using this incision, I avoid going through the breast or the duct system in any way. I typically don't go through the armpit or through the belly button or any other distant site and that seems to help with capsular contracture as well because there's less chance of there being bacteria there. The next thing that I do is I avoid any blood in the pocket when I'm putting your breast implants in. I do this with something called prospective hemostasis. And what that means is I basically look for any kind of bleeding vessels and I get them before they start bleeding. And the next thing that I do is I irrigate your pocket with first with saline solution and then I use something called triple antibiotic which are three different antibiotics in saline solution to essentially neutralize that pocket and make sure there's no bacteria in there. And if there is, the antibiotic will kill that bacteria. The next thing I do is then I bathe the implants in the triple antibiotic solution. I use something called a Keller funnel, which I'm able to put the implant into your pocket that I've created without the implant ever touching your skin. And I essentially milk the implant in with the funnel and never touch your skin. The next thing that I do is I irrigate again with triple antibiotic solution. The position that I place the implant is something called a dual plane technique and it's under your muscle. Your muscle provides a massaging action and this helps also with capsular contracture by massaging the implant. The next thing that I do is I perform a multi-layered closure over your incisions so that it's watertight sealed. In my experience, I have an extremely low capsular contracture rate and I personally have not had one of my breast augmentations have a capsular contracture yet. Thank you very much.